Welcome to our season finale of Legit Brew Reviews. I'm Trevor. And I'm Matt. And it's the moment that we've been waiting for. Hopefully you've uh, kind of gathered the evidence uh, throughout the season uh, and you've pretty much concluded that we would be trying Guinness on our finale. It's only right that we close this season out with arguably one of our favorite beers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we didn't hint at that at all in, in the season. So, I mean, it, I'd be really shocked if you guys knew. I made all that stuff up about evidence. Um, yeah, and Schmenis. You know, Schmenis. <laughs> and it's funny that you said trying because uh, Guinness is definitely something that we... we we know we we love and and the Guinness draft stout uh, since this has been released and I don't think this has been out at least um, domestically for very long because I, I remember just the just the Guinness stout yeah you know, there's but, there's other variations of it but I've never had it in the in the draft where yeah. it's pretty much preserved as it would be if you yeah. got it from the keg yeah um, and it's very much true to that well this is a different bottle from the one that I first tried years ago. So, yeah. I mean, I don't remember the draft stout being on there. I don't think it was. That's yeah. the thing. Like, I didn't remember the draft stout being a thing until I saw the bottles like this, and I didn't even know that the cans were a thing. Right. Um, if you've seen the Boddington's episode, um, this, I believe this was the starter of the the widget yeah. that we were so... Yeah, the um, Guinness cans were the first to employ the widget. Yeah. Which we were so fascinated with. Beyond fascinated. With the Boddingtons. Mm. Wow. Wow. That is really... There's the wows again, huh? Yeah. Wow. 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 That is a really good beer. And so when we figured out that... I mean, Guinness has the the widget inside. We knew we had to do this. It was for sure. Yeah. So, what we're the point of today's episode is to compare Guinness from the can with the widget to the draft in the bottle to see which one we like more. Yeah, and not only that, with this being the season finale, we wanted to have a have a little a little extra spice to the episode per se. So the whole episode won't be natively revolving around the uh, the reviewing of these beers. Right. Um, it'll be kind of our, our best and worst, if, as, as we've kind of told you before in previous episodes leading yeah. up to the finale. Looking back on Looking season back one. Looking back on season Nice reflection one. episode. Yeah. Glad you guys have stuck with us this entire time. So do you want to kick it off with the bottle, or do you want to kick it off with let's, the... Uh, let's go with the bottle first, because bottle it's one first? that we're the most familiar with. A quick little history lesson on, yeah. on Guinness, because yeah. I'm that guy. Way back, it all started with Arthur Guinness in 1757. Okay. Uh, he started making these in his little uh, brewery in Dublin. Yeah, St. James Gate, Dublin. Yeah, and he signed a 9,000-year lease for that brewery. Uh, it didn't last very long. Uh, in 1932, they actually moved their brewery to London. Oh, wow. Their headquarters. Okay. Well, I mean, he so. was he was very adamant about uh, it not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 9,000 years. Well, I mean, in, in the 30s, they were just like, yeah, let's, let's get out right, of here. Let's go for the gusto. Let's get out of here. Um, Ooh. I'm going to steal a piece of this. Oh, 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 hello, ladies. A little Val Venus <laughs> reference for all those hello, attitude, ladies. attitude people. Uh, oh man, Guinness is so incredibly incredibly popular. Even people who don't drink Guinness generally know what Guinness is, or they mistake all kind of like darker beers, like stouts and whatnot, porters. They mistake they all, all of those Guinness. for Guinness. Right. So it's one of those things that if you're not, if you don't drink them, if you don't know about it, then it's very easy. You know, that anything dark is classified as Guinness, mm -hmm. right? Like your mom and like everything's Nintendo. Right. Everything. <laughs> Everything that's a video game is Nintendo. I remember having Guinness back before I was like a beer drinker, mm -hmm. a beer connoisseur, if that. Uh, yeah. I, I hate to call myself that, but someone who enjoys beer. Um, didn't like it at all. Um, <laughs> probably not one of the best beers. It wasn't one of my first beers, but one of the best beers to like jump into when you don't drink beer. Yeah. Because it's a, it's very much an acquired taste that's stronger. It may have little bitter qualities to it. But, man, when you fall in love, though, and that, that switch clicks and you go from not liking beer to drinking beer, completely different world. I think unless you're nursed on Guinness, it's it's not something you, you like, like, from the get-go. For a mm -hmm. lot of people, they have to kind of, like, work their way to Guinness. Because same thing with me. The first time I tried it, I didn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, it's it's one of my favorites. I drink it every 
St. Patty's Day. Mm -hmm. I make sure to have a Guinness to celebrate. It's a little higher price point with it being an import. It's yeah. not one of the domestic brewed ones with it being, you know, brewed in Dublin. So it is an import. So it is a little higher in price. So yeah. sometimes you don't always have that beer money to play with. Yeah. I mean, so usually you get something kind of cheaper, not cheap, but cheaper in domestic. I mean, we bought it on sale, but yeah. six packs generally go for like $10. Yeah, 10 sometimes 12 Nine, $10. Yeah, it depends on where you go. Yeah. But yeah, they're they're higher end. Let's jump in. I mean, we, we kind of... Mm -hmm. We kind of already know what to expect. I don't even know how we're really to review this because we, we already know we love it. But uh, um, for you guys that don't, we'll, we'll still give you a little bit of a little bit of a quicker review to where we can start kind of divulging into uh, the highlights of the season. Yeah. So, so the first thing you'll smell is that 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 caramel kind of malty, the caramel that malty. malty cocoa-y crispness ca like it. caramelly coffee-esque yeah. it's so good yeah it's ah uh, i wish you guys could smell this right it's now. it's really good it's really really good smell and i'm, I'm so ready to just die in right now <laughs> really? I'm just, uh, every let's time just I go smell let's it, just I'm go just for like, it there's really nowhere else we yeah, can go it smells good. smells good mm, i'm ready oh my god it's been so long it's been so long we haven't had guinness since before we started the show. Mm -hmm. So it's been a while. I'm shocked at how smooth it is now, because I remember it was not by any means <laughs> when I was first it, drinking didn't it. Used to, what, is the, what is the alcohol content for Guinness? Um, I really I, it's don't It's up know. there a little bit, I thought. I don't see it at all on here. No, I don't see it here either. Um, but yeah, love, love this beer. Um, mm. really we have it. Beer. We're incredibly biased. We love it. Yeah, we love it. If you haven't tried it, please go try it. Yeah, because, go try it for sure. I mean, if it's your first dark, then okay. But <laughs> it's much smoother. <laughs> By than, all means, it's much smoother than any other stout, though, or a lot of other stouts. I don't want to yeah. say any other stout because yeah. that's a bold statement. Yeah. But this is it is it is much smoother. Um. So we obviously have bought and would buy six packs of this. Oh yes. And, the worst moments uh, of season one. Yeah. What would you say the worst moment of season one? And we'll we'll show a little footage. <sighs> From these these references. Okay, uh, the elephant in the room. The worst moment for me was uh, the mic fail in season one that lasted. Was it like something like fifteen minutes? Yeah, it was like fourteen and some change. Oh, I can't believe that happened. But we had so much footage and we couldn't just throw it away and start over. And the Shiner tour was something we really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't just scrap all of that footage. Yeah. You know, what are we going to do? Do it again or just do something completely different? So we had to use all the footage. We, I mean, we tried the best we could to, to kind of... I mean, I bumped the sound. Yeah, too. yeah. We tried, I, our, we tried I, our best to, to... I went through and cropped where Trevor would speak and I jacked that level up. So where you hear him talk, it, there's been some things done to it. The original you footage, couldn't, you couldn't hear me at all. Yeah, you couldn't really... I was so amateur. And it, it was, made me sound louder. Yeah. Because I was yeah. like loud. I, I mean. And he wasn't there at all. I know. It was so bad. And I hate watching episode one. I really do. I mean, it's it, I love it and I hate it. You know, it's because it's so. It, things only got better from there. So obviously that's the worst moment for me. I guess um, the whole mix up with not finding the beers we wanted for episode um, 12 or 11. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the change up, the change up yeah. that ended up being a good thing, which in was the all end. off camera. But it's just frustrating whenever you you have everything planned out and then a wrench gets thrown in and then you, you know, scramble. But it it all worked out because um, if it wasn't for that, uh, we wouldn't have had the golden drock, and it probably wouldn't have been as fun of an episode. No, yeah, I mean that that episode was right there with you know with all the other ones that I feel were like the highlight episodes yeah. for us. Yeah. Um, I, I mean my my bad things. Technically, the first episode, obviously, because it, I mean it was it was setting the ground for the show. We didn't really know. We knew what we wanted to do. We didn't know the formula. We didn't know the pacing. We didn't know anything. Hence, why the episode's like thirty minutes long. Yeah. Um, and then it was a lot of beer. Um, the technical issues with Trevor's mic, uh, the background was kind of just, we didn't know what we wanted to do with that yet. Uh, there was a lot of things. My, I guess, not favorite episode was probably what we already knew was going to be like the, the scary domestics episode. From a yeah. technical aspect, it looked awesome, like I wanted it to look, but man, it was a lot of wasted beer. And we kind of knew that going in, that we were going to buy all these beers that we were, for the most part, going to not like. Do we... <laughs> 
do we mention the slop bucket? Yeah, I mean, we can, sure, why not? A little tidbit, we had a, a bucket off camera here that we were literally dumping the uh, the remnants of what we didn't drink, which was a oh, lot. And this. then Trevor, Trevor had a, he had an idea to, that we should all, like, like we should drink the mixture of everything. And I was like, we're not, we're not doing that. I wasn't serious. I don't know that he wasn't though. There was a, there was a little, <laughs> there was, there was a, a twinkle, little in, twinkle my... <laughs> in his eye that was like, if you do no, this, I you're the real MVP. I definitely would not. It smelled so it was, foul. It smelled like the worst bar you've ever been to with like the remnants of, of people having, um, rid oh their body gosh. of whatever they were drinking that night. It was night. so nasty. That's a light way to put it. Uh, that was probably like that would be the worst. And the having worst. to film everything sitting next yeah. to that that it was, it was right down here. Bucket as it right down just here. just wafting. Uh, wafting is probably a good word to wafting. To it. Yeah, oh, it was, it was definitely uh, all over the place. But I think we should finish this and then we can crack that open and then kind of the get into the best. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm excited because. I've had the bottle before and and loved it, but this 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 Completely is this is new. jumping into that excited oh. widget territory, and I'm so excited. Does it give you any? You, you go ahead. I'm also kind of afraid though because, um, because of the the malfunction with the Boddingtons. Well, shh, just just Wusa, clear your mind of that. Wusa, yeah, Wusa. Wusa, Wusa. It means you just, you just, uh-uh, just, mm. It means you clean your Negative, ears? clean your, clean your, you rub your earlobes. <laughs> negative, uh, clean your negative energy. Woosa. It does say on here, upon opening the famous round plastic widget in every can unleashes nitrogen through the beer, creating the creamy head and iconic surge that, that's distinctively Guinness. To best enjoy, open the can and wait a moment for the nitrogen to release, pour into a glass tilted at 45 degrees, watch the surge and settle, and then enjoy. I forgot my protractor. <laughs> yeah, it's a, pretty much an, an angled pour is okay. what we always typically do anyway. So uh, without further ado, as we say every episode. Without further ado, let's do it. Oh, sh oh. I think you're supposed to. Oh, no, mine went, mine went. Yeah, I mean, mine did too, but... Oh, boy. Oh, man, there's a lot in this can. We'll, we'll show you guys um, what the widget looks like. Yeah. Maybe maybe they have their own patent. And we'll let we'll let this guy settle a little bit. Similar to the Boddingtons in the, in the, like, we'll the layered... It. You see how it kind of goes from dark to... And then that nice line, the nice head just stops so nicely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very strategic. While this guy settles... Um, we can jump into uh, the best. I guess I'll say mine first since um, yeah. you went last time. I would say probably if I had to narrow down, and it's 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 a tight narrow down. I really did enjoy the, the Boddington's episode. Uh, the Boddington's episode was our first encounter with the widget. The first, like that, that technology being a thing that we, we didn't know a whole lot about at the time. Um, I found that to next, be next to nothing. And our, our our reactions were very. I mean, all of our act our reactions are very genuine. Um, so the Boddingtons was amazing. That would probably be my favorite. But as far as like my favorite episode, it's probably a close run between the Boddingtons, the Founders episode, and then the Guten Drock. Just because it was a nice like I felt like those were like quality episodes where we were able to like have a lot of fun with it, drink really good beers, and provide a lot of good insight. Yeah. I think some of the best moments of season one, uh, you have to you have to talk about the widget, the discovery of the widget yeah. in the Boddington's, because that was just so cool. I had no idea. Dude, we looked like kids at Christmas. I know. I had no Our idea. Our faces were so like... That was... That <laughs> I didn't know about any of that kind of... that. that I had no idea that technology even existed. Yeah. That's so awesome. that was cool. Another good moment. Uh, was just the IPAs episode where I found some IPAs that I actually enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, and I have to thank Founders, too, because the Founders episode, uh, I mean, I love Founders. Um, now, I had no idea that they were so big, so popular. I didn't even know they were they, they existed. Yeah, and that they were a native Michigan beer, too. Yeah, and that's you cool, know? too. And they have a damn good IPA. And then the Golden Drock is definitely up there. Mm -hmm. uh, because... 
Uh, that right now, at the moment, it's probably my favorite beer. Yeah, a rare find. We went into Super it very blind. Rare, yeah. We didn't know anything about it other than the fact that this looked interesting and it was yeah. a replacement for the, the other, you know, uh, failed effort. The failed effort. As far as best moments, that's probably, you know, finding the IPAs that I actually liked. Mm-hmm. Golden Drock and uh, the discovery of the widget. Um, yeah. Because I also the the discovery of the widget led us to this episode, the comparing the Guinness in the can to the Guinness in the bottle. Right. We knew very early on that we were going to do the Guinness for the finale. We had, I mean, we've had everything planned out for quite some time, um, but we knew this is what we wanted to do, and it was very exciting. It was yeah. Very exciting. But yeah, before we continue, man. Like, before the head this dissipates. Does, and, I don't know that it will. <laughs> I mean, look, it's very, yeah. Look I mean, the colors of... This almost looks artificial. It almost looks like the, it like really the, does. the plastic. Like if you emptied yeah. it, like nothing would yeah. come out. Yeah. It doesn't look real. Looks like a like a parfait or something. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm excited. I mean, I don't even know if I can't smell anything. <laughs> <laughs> that head is so right. I know. So thick. But that's I the way it was with the Boddingtons too. It's so thick. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> smell. You could smell the Guinness, but. Like Matt said, it's very it's, subtle. This head does a really good job at masking it, what yeah. lies beneath. I know it's going to get all in my mustache, too. Oh, it better. Oh, it's going to get in yours, too, now. <laughs> they better. Cheers. Oh, here we go. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Good God. So, I have to say, I'm just going to go ahead and get it out there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give my review right now. Knock it out the park. Guinness is Guinness, whether or not it's in a bottle or a can. You're getting the same great quality beer. That it's there's a crisp, there's a crispness to it, a, a, a um, kind of like a scorched flavor. I I'll say it's it's significantly thicker. In thicker the can. too, yeah. But oh, it's just more toasted. It tastes more toasted from the can, and I, I'm not sure why. I don't know. But I really like that that quality of it. And it's there. It's present in the bottle, too, but it's much more pronounced in the can. Yeah. So Guinness is Guinness, but I got to give it to the can. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like each for each for what they are, but um, I agree with Trevor in the sense of the, the can. I like the difference that it brings. While, yes, the beer is still the same beer. There's so much different in texture, um, in the way it was preserved. But yeah, super, super awesome. I, 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 I'm thoroughly impressed. It comes in four packs, so we would definitely buy a four pack essentially as oh, we did. For sure. Um, just like the Boddingtons, four packs, not six packs. Yeah. We did want to talk about how many beers we actually drank this season. I was like, I would love to be able to tell people how much we drank, because um, it feels like a lot. And, and I mean, it, for all, for all intents and purposes, it, it is still a lot to drink in, in, you figure, like, several months. When you actually keep track of, of how much you've and how many different beers you've tried. But I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of that, though. Yeah. And, and in a strange sense, I'm proud of how many different beers we've tried. Yeah, and I mean, it shows vast um, availability for the area that we know of that don't doesn't really have a whole lot to offer what we do have is a, is a good amount yeah um so with including the the ones today it was 42 is yeah that correct that's right 42 technically if you want to get technical we have had 42 um beers this season which is a lot more than i thought we'd had you say 42 and it's like what no yeah it seems and like sometimes you look at it and you're like 42 that's not a lot but then you look that's at the, a lot of beer the six and... packs we did the viewer drinks yeah. the uh, the the snap review. So quite a quite a so bit more of, than I thought we had. Quite a bit of of, of beer. Yeah. Um. So sure. that's that's awesome. The future. Yeah. Um. We could talk a little bit a little bit about the future. We really we really do want to continue to do the show. Um. We are just at this point we're not sure. We're we're probably going to take a, 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 a bit of a hiatus at this point. We don't know when season two will come back. We we most definitely do want to, but there's a lot of things that have gone into the equation of kind of dialing back and holding back on season two rather than rolling right into it like we wanted to. Um, I mean, just just a lot of different things. 
Um, we do want to, however, explore different avenues of, of other content that we do want to make in the meantime. Right. So if you do enjoy our humor. But uh, um, if that's something that you guys are interested in, if you guys want to see season two, please let us know. Yeah. Um, because really, that's more than enough motivation to start on season two. We have plans for things that we, we want to be able to roll out as far as like legit brew merch. You know stuff like that but like i said now is not the right time so we want to we want to make sure the time is right when yeah. we do introduce those things yeah right we don't want to end the season on a on a sad or sour note we had a lot of fun with with those of you that especially that tuned in every week that watched and if you were just a viewer that watched every once in a while i mean we we thank you just as much as as our regular viewers because let's, uh, yeah let's shoot out some special thanks I want to shout out to uh, Brandon Ortega uh, he definitely supported supported the episodes um, David Johnson Joy and her mom from the River Store for, for helping us out with that Kona Brewing episode yeah. and, and tuning in she tunes in every week it I don't know if her mom watches it or not. definitely was a tasty beer yeah it was an awesome beer for a beer that we didn't even know about yeah. uh, Adam Borello um, he he watches every week. He's been constantly giving me, uh, giving me advice of things that we should do uh, for for future you know future legit brew review things. Um, hell, I want to thank you. I mean, like Trevor, Trevor has been the the financier, if you will, of of a lot of the beer, um, of if not all of the beer, almost I would say probably almost all of the beer. A good bit, a good bit of the beer. Um, you know, so I want to thank you. Um, uh, I do want to thank, you know, our family for supporting, like, uh, you know, like our parents, our family, and, our friends who have, our friends have been super supportive. Yeah. Of yeah. We want to thank everybody for watching, um, coworkers who yeah. have discovered the show and coworkers of mine who, who really enjoyed it. Um, so shout out to them yeah. and anybody who's taken the time out of their day, even if they don't like beer or they're not a beer fan to just share. Yeah. I mean, there's just tons of, tons of people that while the support sometimes maybe might have felt quiet, uh, there was tons of people that did did make it a you know make it a point to to let us know that they enjoy what we're doing. So yeah, um, and who whoever is responsible for sharing our our Mexican brew uh, review, we still don't know. You're still a mystery. Yeah, um, I've had a lot of fun. Um, oh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of work too. So. I don't want to not say it has been because it's been a lot of work for just two people doing all this. Yeah, we're just two people, guys. You're seeing us. <laughs> Same me goes and, and and edits and and puts everything together. And yeah. so I mean, it's and I want to thank you for that yeah, um, well, because you I you put in a it. lot of work this season, and I mean you've you've put out a really good uh, what I think is a really good, um, really qu quality product yeah um, i appreciate it yeah i mean it's it's, it's great like share subscribe always share these videos with your friends um share your favorite videos with your friends and it's always fun drinking with you guys fun drinking with you i'll still be drinking with you in between the the hiatus we'll probably crack open another guinness as soon as we're done right so. yeah we still got still got a good another bit. can mm -hmm. so as uh, as tradition here on Legit Brew Reviews, I'm Matt. I'm Trevor. And we'll be drinking with you. You guys take care now. See you next time. Doom, 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 doom. Right. Doom. This is the theme, theme song. This is the theme, theme song. song. <laughs> <laughs> this is the theme song. Now we have to keep that song. <laughs> <All right. laughs>